This is Beard Flipper. I say thank you for checking out my channel. Um, this is a video that has been uh, compiled over the past week because we've been had a pretty crazy week. Um, I had vet appointments and uh, just trying to get stuff organized and stuff around the outside of the house at our new house and before the uh, before winter hits and we've got some pretty good weather here in Ohio. So. Um, but if you guys don't know, if you guys haven't seen my other couple videos, uh, my name's Rob. Uh, I am an online e-commerce seller. I buy stuff, flip, um, anything from trucks, trailers, whatever, all the way down to t-shirts and toys. So it's anything to make a profit to, to uh, you know, be able to have, spend more time with my daughter, and, you know, family and stuff like that, and just have a, have a job you actually like. There's nothing like that. So... That's on our journey. We just pretty much started 30 days ago. So hopefully you guys will be there through the whole thing. Um, my eBay store is Bearded Flipper. Uh, Instagram is Bearded Flipper. And uh, of course here on YouTube is Bearded Flipper. So we're going to try to try to be pretty consistent on posting every Friday um, to be uploaded on Friday. And this video was from pretty much all last week, I believe. Um, maybe a little bit of this week. So I didn't post one last Friday because my uh, camera battery took a crap and I don't like using my phone. So, but we're back up and running. Shouldn't have any more problems. And uh, just comment below. Let me know what you guys think or if I missed something while I was in a couple of the stores. And I'll be taking the camera into the store more often now. Um, and you guys can tell me everything I missed so I can be on the lookout next time. So, I might go to a couple stores tomorrow. Just poke around. I was in the house all day today. Had a had a slight migraine so took some medicine did some stuff housekeeping stuff around here so hopefully we'll get out tomorrow and it'll be a nice day and we can um, see what kind of finds and hopefully not spend a lot of money because that's the goal right the less money you spend the more profit we make but I buy I have an antique mall um, you're seeing this video that I buy to restock and I have an, an abundance of stuff for that antique mall so I really don't need to buy anything else but if you find something that's a banger, you can't leave it, especially at the bins, the Goodwill bins. If you guys don't know what the Goodwill bins, it's a liquidation clearance center for Goodwill. And pretty much all the Goodwills in the area uh, dump their merchandise that either hasn't sold, they haven't gone through, if they have too much there, they're just in gigantic bins. Uh, I think you'll see it in this video. Um, I took it in there because I found a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh! Magic cards at the bottom of a bin. So, uh, But stick around. Here's the video. Um, and be sure to like and subscribe. Tell all your friends. Share it. Do it. Do whatever you need to do. Whatever you need to do, and I would I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, like I said in one of my last videos, uh, we get to 500 subscribers. I'll do a free. I'll do a, um, like a mystery box of stuff I have around the, the stuff I've sourced. Um, if you're into reselling or whatever, and then we'll do it again at a thousand, and we'll just keep going so we can try to grow grow this channel as much as possible. Um, so let's let's try to get to that 500 subscribers mark. That'd be greatly appreciated. So stick around. Hopefully you enjoy the video. I think that was just extra. I just grabbed him, but I think, yeah, yeah. So the trains are magnetic. We've got a bunch of that type of stuff. Found the Simpsons watch. It's pretty cool. Um, I just grabbed everything I could find for like this train set. Um, it, it was in multiple bins multiple bins um i just saw a bunch of it and i just started grabbing it because uh, i know like tendo over at tendo trash likes that stuff and then we got this um america sign which i have a bunch of that type of stuff got this got this older style clock the face is cracked but i thought maybe i could get some plexi and fix it i thought it was pretty cool Maybe do a different background in it. Uh, we got some more tracks. I got these baby bottles for my daughter. Got another plush for the booth. Um, I spent $53, I believe, on all this. Got some of these cups. <clears throat> got this old hairbrush. It's pretty heavy. Uh, oh, I got some, these are stickers I'm gonna use for the booth. Got this. Well, there's a bunch of car show um, placards. This one was cool because it stuck out. 
Um, I might like put a sticker over this bottom piece, but I thought it was cool just because there's 3D. Like that probably wasn't cheap. Got a couple of these mugs, are pretty cool. I've got another uh, uh, um, Rubik's Cube. My daughter wants to collect them and I found this one. Uh, another, uh, I got a couple of these like wood carts. I don't know what they go to, but seems like they're older. Got a mo police motorcycle, not broke or anything. Seemed like it was a pretty good toy. Let's dump this in here and see what we got. Pull up this watch. Let's put them aside. Try to get all this. I'll get to it later. Okay. Got a Nerf uh, clip. Pulled it. Pulled it into this stuff, which is pretty sweet. Uh, got this hat. I'm going to try to clean it up. It's probably newer, of course, but it'll be probably pretty cool. And I got this uh, Lincoln Feller's beer with this metal fish. Hell, the fish probably cost more than a whole house. Got this old uh, die-cast Corvette. It's missing the windshield and a couple things, headlight. Um, but I have a couple of die-casts I might throw up on online for, like, parts or repair. Then got this old model Supra, which is my dream car. Um, it's missing the wing, but, you know, I'll clean it up. I might start a shelf for them again. I used to have a shelf for that type of stuff. Then I got this medical cert... Uh, medical surgical medical surgical nursing practice book the sticker on it 60 bucks I haven't looked it up haven't done anything with it it's in good shape figure I just grab it um, and then I got a small shelf back in there uh, it's nothing real crazy um, it'll probably be 10 or 15 bucks at the booth pay three bucks for it uh, but I'll probably just place up on it and list it for sale but that's everything from this bin haul at $54 I think we probably got $54 worth of the tank stuff even if it's off-brand, um, and then everything else. So we're stocking up for winter, and then our toy booth, our toy antique booth. So we're going to go back and do some more. Uh, might take the camera with me. Uh, my friend B's coming over, and then, of course, my daughter's going to tag along. So we'll see what we can find. I only made about halfway through the bins today. Not even half. I mean, maybe like three rows, maybe. Um, and my cart was full because of the bins and stuff, and the line was starting to get long, and uh, my daughter wanted to go. To meet B and get some lunch, so we left, checked out with everything, and I'm emptying the truck to go back. Um, probably go back there, and then a couple other thrift stores that she wants to go to. One of them she didn't know about, and she's a heavy thrifter like me, but she doesn't buy and sell; she just collects. So she should be on her way here soon, and then we're hopping the truck and we're go go do some more bins, see if we can't get stocked up, and see how much money we can make. And then tonight I will be doing my wrap up video. It's Saturday the 24th or something like that, 23rd. Doing my wrap-up video for the week for my eBay sales. I'll include it in the very end of this. Uh, didn't do too bad. Had a couple issues, a couple broken things, and they got to the uh, got to the buyers that I have to fix. And then one was package got destroyed. So got to figure that out. So, but um, stay tuned. Uh, the rest of the bin haul. So I got a blue bin with the lid. Then I got these two like recycle bins. Um, this was two bucks. The recycle bins were a dollar a piece. Um, I grabbed this walking out. Didn't really look at it, but it's got some pretty raunchy holes in it. Um, but I don't know. Maybe find somebody that can sew like the corners or put patches on them. It's like a vintage Reebok bag. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, then I got these um, solo riding pants. They look like they are in pretty good shape. They're size 36. Uh, so we'll throw those up. See so we can get out of those. And we got some plushes for the booth. Um, this guy talks somehow. Yeah. Puppy pals or whatever he is. That crazy guy. That was so good. I know this is like a Dollar Tree craft. Some people learn to like the Dollar Tree crafts. Um, but it was already made. And it would probably cost at least $3 to make it. And I didn't pay really anything for it. So it would be a cool little decoration for the house. Uh, got this Rocky and Bullwinkles um, book set. It has, a, it has a bunch of books in it. I don't really know what it's worth, but it was cheap. Worst case is I'll just sell the books, but I figured the whole case would be worth something. And then we got an epic amount of, like, Thomas the Train track set. Dump all this out. I don't want to dump it out in that one because there's books in here. We'll get these books out and I'll show you guys what we got. So we got this collection. Started getting this collection of this Mickey. 
So we got like volume one, volume three. I remember having some of these growing up. 17, 8, 5, another 3. Then a gaming magazine, uh, a couple coloring books, one Goosebumps books, and Ninja Turtle books, and then more of these. So I think they're different, different volumes. So we're just going to try to collect them, maybe sell them as a set. I don't know. Um, so let's see what's in this bag. This is all the trade packs. There's some other, some other stuff in here. So this stuff is like in two bins. Oh yeah, I got this, uh, what's her name? Kind of beat up, but I have a Wally um, to like match her, kind of. So uh, it's all the train track stuff. I like getting really weird stuff like this. Like he powers on, I gotta put some batteries in him. I have no idea what he is, but whatever. And then this um, tape or this, uh, um, uh, yard marking thing you stick it in the ground and pull it that was pretty cool uh, and there's a patch in here I threw it in it's, um, what's her name the uh, pocket or uh, pocket pals or whatever here I have a whole bunch of stuff like that and there's a bunch of this so I think this sets actually like a Tonka type set because here's like a bunch of the trains that were magnetic I believe uh, I think that was just actually what's up everybody it's a bearded flipper we are at the bins for the first time in a week. We just opened the antique mall yesterday. Uh, well, actually Sunday. I was kind of sick yesterday. I had a migraine, lack of caffeine. Um, antique mall went great. It'll be in this video. Um, but it is Tuesday, election day. Make sure everybody goes and votes. It's one of the most important elections in our nation's history. So um, we're going to go in the bins, see what we can find. I'm not really going after anything crazy, but... You know how that goes. I said it a hundred times, and I come out with a cart full. Don't really need that because I have so much I need to list. Um, Antique Mall, you know, it's been a couple bucks a day getting started, but we set up on Sunday. Uh, we got out of there late. We sold a couple small things, like five or six bucks worth of stuff while we were there. Sold two dollars worth of stuff yesterday, but they get really busy on the weekends. So, of course, we're riding out. Antique, uh, Antique Mall looks really good and um, see what happens. And I'm going to call on another antique mall today, uh, one in Centerville, Ohio, and see where my name is on the list for it. Uh, like I said in previous videos, I'll take whatever they have. Um, if it's a glass case, if it's an empty wall, whatever's available just to get my foot in the door because they, most antique malls will um, have a move-up list. So if you want a bigger booth, they'll let you move up before they let a new vendor come in. So we'll see. So we got a lot of stuff. The garage is empty, no cars in it. So I got um, a lot of my stuff in the garage. We're going to try to sort. Um, I had a big canopy out back, like a portable garage that was um, housing all of my furniture. And we had really bad winds the other day and it pulled the stakes out of the ground and bent seven or eight of the poles. So I got it dismantled. So I got to figure that out today so stuff doesn't get ruined. Um, I'll, I might, I'll probably just tarp it all. I got enough tarps just to see, and then I'm going to try to source some of those poles. And then, uh, if I have to, I'll dig holes and, and cement them, cement that into the ground. But, you know, it kind of sucked yesterday about two hours wasted, but it is what it is. You got to deal with it. You know, stuff happens. So let's go into the bin, see what we can find. And then, uh, probably go home and list a bunch of stuff, um, on eBay, try to get the, try to get the house in order. It's been kind of crazy because of the booth. So and try to stay on top of it now we got a booth so i can get everything labeled i kind of know know how the layout is of the booth for now and i can just get boxes and stuff you know all the product completely labeled oh and when i went to the we got an email saturday night that they changed our booth number on us um, that has to go on the tag uh saturday night and everything was already marked so we came to a compromise Booth number was, uh, it was, well, the original number was 0215. They said it couldn't be a zero in the front. So we asked them if 8215 was available, and they said yes. So all we had to do was touch every item and just make the zero and eight. That was the quickest way. That was the quickest way possible without having to make read new tags. So kind of a pain, but it's over with now. Um, but I'm going here, see what we could find, uh, and, and go from there. Hopefully I don't leave with too much because I don't want to, but, you know, it's hard to do at the bins. Stay tuned. Just got to the antique mall. We're starting to set up. Uh, they're pretty busy. A lot of vendors in here stocking up, a lot of people. So, um, 
we're gonna get all set up and I'll show you what it looks like when we get done. Uh, it's just an empty booth, so stay tuned. Got her all set up. Here she is. There's a little bit of room left for some smaller stuff. You know, like there's a space. But we got her pretty much stocked. It's going on 3.30ish, I believe. And we've been here since noon. Hopefully we're going to get some bigger shelves in here eventually. Some of these pictures will sell. We'll get some bigger shelves in here. A bunch of video games. Got some old Power Ranger cards. Five bucks on them, don't know if they're worth it. I think it's pretty stocked. We had two people stop by and buy stuff for five or six bucks. I think we did pretty good. Old Ray Mysterio mask. Don't know where B went. Oh, there she is. Say hi. So just got back home. I'm going to go through the three thrift stores that I went to today, look at the haul, and see uh, see what we got, see what you guys think. So this first store was the Valley Thrift Store. Uh, it was the second one I went to today. Uh, I think the least amount of stuff. But got this little pound puppy. Uh, 1995. So, you know, it's 49 cents. And we got this Olaf. Stretches apart. What am I looking at right now? Why are you hanging off the earth like a bat? Makes noise. He was 99 cents. Oh, thanks. <laughs> then I got this now, old school fanny pack. I think it was a buck 99. I got a couple of these. Um, probably put them in the booth, maybe. I got one listed on eBay. Hasn't really had any hits. And then for this, I'm going to turn the camera around for this. And then we got these Jeremy Scott's. Cut out wing shoes. Um, they look like they're authentic. I mean, they they got all the markings. They got the Adidas, and then the Jeremy Scott heel, Beverly Hills, New York, all that good jazz. They're size eight. Uh, they're in pretty good shape. They don't really look like they were ever worn. I don't know if this stuff's supposed to be kind of like an off white, uh, but they're in pretty good shape. Pay twenty four dollars for them. But that's it for that thrift store. Store, we spent thirty-one sixty-six on everything. Next thrift store was the first one we went to this morning, and we spent forty-one fifty-five. Here I got these Nike uh, fit soles. They're in pretty good shape, um, and they're my size, and they fit really, really good. A little bit of black right there, but I should be able to clean it up. But I bought these for me because my Nikes are pretty hit right now and just need some new tennis shoes. I got a bunch of clothes at this place because that's pretty much what they do. Uh, I got this Shark Attack polo, which is my brand. Um, I love Shark Attack. Uh, Greg Norman. So, um, paid four bucks for it. Not bad for a polo. And then I got this Walt Disney World uh, tee. Uh, it's three bucks, two XL. That actually fits me. I don't know if I'll keep it or sell it. And I got this uh, Ethan Mullet, eighty-eight racing shirt. It fits me. It's a dollar fifty. Um, also got another cheap shirt. Um, it was fifty percent off, so it's a dollar fifty. Just shirts to wear when I'm out and about. Nothing crazy. And then I got uh, this is another Disney. Um, he's my greatest adventure. Walt Disneyland to XL. It was four dollars fifty percent off, and they got this U.S. Marine Corps um, slide over hood or um, like um, just pull over jacket. It was a dollar, so I'll throw probably throw it up on eBay. See if we get any hits on that. 
Um, and I think that was it at that store. And now I'll get everything staged up that I got from the bins. I got this Java thing from the Valley Thrift Store, the first one where I got those Jer uh, Jeremy Scott's. This was a dollar. It'll sell good at the booth. Then I got this at the um, the Village Discount Outlet. Um, it was yellow, so it was 50% off, so it was $3.25. It's pretty heavy. It's a nice decoration piece. I think it'll sell good in the booth. Stuff that we got from the bins. So we got like this fanny pack that opens up. Uh, we got a unicorn knitted, homemade, like pillow thing. It needs cleaned up a little bit. Got this old, um, like 50s maybe, um, Kool-Aid jug type thing. Got this battery operated snow, um, just decoration. Got this really cool like treasure box. It just needs a screw to fix this right here. I uh, got this Igloo lunch box. I thought it was pretty cool. Never ever seen one like that. Pretty cool. Got a disc golf disc. Uh, got a meal deal, Universal Studios drink, uh, cup. Got a Star Wars, one of those new snack things. It's missing the straw, but uh, got a Champs tie. Got this reindeer sequin hat. Uh, still new with tags from Steinmart, which is a store around here. Got a super soaker water gun. Got a little Christmas tree um, to hold like jewelry or something. Got a Mickey that plays harmonica. Got um, like a shower grab. Uh, for people, for like order folks, uh, got a mil or a uh, United States like flag heart. Welcome, got a bunch of that stuff. Build a bear giraffe, seasons greeting pillow. And I got these two wine pictures. I won't shut up. Some type of Furby creation. But got him at the bins. Got these three bins for the booth. Probably put some stickers in it. Uh, I always pick these up if they look new, um, especially if they're blender bottle. I use them. Uh, I got this old child's wood toy. Got another wood car that adds to my other wood cars. That's personal use. Got a really small Rubik's. It's got a little bit of damage, but it'll be cool. This is a battery operated Thomas. I go around the track by itself. It's pretty cool. Um, I always pick these up if they have the handles just for workout. Got an original Bop It, which me and my friend were talking about that the other day, so I picked it up. Got a Thomas and Friends train whistle. Got a sequin um, wrist slapper. And then got some more stuff for Halloween for next year to decorate pumpkins. And then we got this Star Wars Elements kid shirt, which I thought was pretty cool. Probably just throw it in the booth. And then I got this lamp. Um, this guy said that he was looking for the top to it and couldn't find it. And then I found it. And he's like, man, I was looking for that. So I found the top and I found this. I'm going to try to look it up. I think it's missing the thing that goes here. Uh, but it's really cool. Really cool looking. It can go with a lot of decor. So I'm going to try to see what I need to find it because I got some lamps in the garage I can steal pieces and paint and make work but we'll see if that works but I think that's everything oh no it's not sorry uh, I got these bags from the all oh, got all these from the bins so we got a backpack there and we got a Super Mario backpack and we got this nice purse and I checked all the zippers and everything works uh, and then we got like a small luggage Star Wars luggage and then we got these two. They were inside of each other. So they're like a pair or something. But they're like denim type. Pretty cool. And then this Mickey purse. So I haven't really sold much with those. Um, like these I haven't listed yet. I got these from the bins a couple weeks ago. So they might be booth items. Except for maybe the Nike one. I might list it on eBay. But uh, anything to fill out my booth. So uh, hopefully we can get a couple shelves in there. And um put some more product in there but we got quite a bit today guys i think we did pretty good probably be good for the week uh need to get a bunch of this labeled and a lot of it was for the booth uh just to add variety and stuff like that but i'll probably list that disc golf and of course those jeremy scott's on ebay um and we'll just go from there so probably take the week the rest of the week and organize and clean still got the garage to do um, uh, the garage to finish and then I'll go up to Friday to the booth I'll take you guys with me to the booth and we'll be adding we sold five or six things yesterday hopefully we keep going this week so I can add three or four more bins of stuff to sell so we'll just go from there and keep chugging along make sure you hit that subscribe button hit that like button uh, cause, 
because uh, this is what I'm doing full time. Hopefully we can maintain because I enjoy digging for fines and, um, you know, if I can sustain, um, you know, selling this stuff on eBay, uh, go over um, eBay stores, Bearded Flipper, Instagram's Bearded Flipper, and here on YouTube is Bearded Flipper. So I try and keep everything consistent and uh, we can maintain. Um, you know, if you buy anything from my eBay store, make sure you put a, uh, put a note in there so I can give you a shout out. Um, and hopefully I can get some more stuff up on there. And I sold like three things while we were out today. Nothing crazy. But um, let me know the stuff that you guys like finding. And I keep an eye out for it. And, you know, make a couple of videos. I can make a video one day of, uh, of um, what viewers are into. Um, you know, at, at the bins or something. And do a haul from that. You know, I don't mind doing that for, you know, my viewers and stuff like that. So that would be pretty cool to do, you know, stuff like viewer likes. Like just go buy Nerf guns. How many Nerf guns can you find at the bins? And don't mean we're going to buy them, but I can try to find this stuff and see what happens. So make sure to like and subscribe and try to make this fun and entertaining for everybody. I will see you around. Thanks. Guys, it's uh, November 11th, I believe. And this is Beard of Flipper. Uh, if you guys don't know, my full-time job is to buy stuff and resell it online. Uh, mainly eBay and Facebook Marketplace right now and trying to uh, incorporate YouTube into it. So uh, today it is 11 o'clock. I just got back from the vet with our bunny and um, I got this coupon from our thrift store uh, for yesterday because it was 50% off day. And if you go on a 50% off day um, you get and buy something, you get a coupon for $5 off a purchase of $14 or more for the next day. So I've been trying to use those a lot more. I never really have used them. Um, just because of the savings that you save, you basically spend the next day and then you save five bucks. It's kind of weird, but if you, you still find good deals because there's a lot of stuff that goes out. So there's new stuff out today that they restock because a quarter of the store probably sold yesterday. Um, and then I'll go through everything that uh, we got yesterday. I got it all laid out and I'll kind of go through a quick video of what we got at the two thrift stores yesterday. Um, and then a uh, uh, big pile of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. There's probably 200 of them or so. I uh, don't know if any of them are really worth. They're in decent shape. No, there's only a couple that are beat up bad. Uh, a couple Pokemon cards, nothing crazy. No no hollows or nothing crazy like that. I think there's one, one Yu-Gi-Oh that's like a refractor type, um, but I don't know. I just grabbed them all because I know that they're that they're in right now. So um, got a bunch of other nonsense for the antique mall. Uh, I'm gonna go restock that tomorrow on Friday. Uh, and I think I'm am I off on the date? Is today the I don't know. Today is the 12th, not the 11th. The 12th. I thought it was 11th for some reason. Um, then yesterday I sold a truck. Uh, truck I've had for a while. I paid 400 bucks for it. I'll try to show it to you. It's that guy right there. Uh, it's a 99 Dodge Ram. Uh, I used to be real big into doing the vehicles. Uh, bought it for 400 bucks. I sold the driver's door for 150. Sold the interior seats for 150. Um, so I have 100 bucks invested before towing it. You know, I had to tow it to Mullet House and I had to tow it to this house, but you know. That's that's not that much. But I sold it for six hundred. Uh, guy's coming to get it on Saturday, so it'll clear up his space in the driveway. And I have three three other vehicles at my buddy's house still. I have a big yellow box truck and two Silverados. So just trying to windle down and kind of reset on the vehicle front. Uh, that way, when I get one, get back to my roots. What I used to do is I got it. I used to get it, uh, pull it off the trailer, uh, pull off the parts that I wanted, parts that I wanted. And then either scrap it or sell the rest. Um, and there's still money to be made. Vehicles are hard to come by right now. Like there hasn't really been anything. One of my other buddies, that's all he does is vehicles, parts them out and all that. And there's just nothing out there under three grand that's worth it um, to where you can still make good money. You know, you spend three grand, you want to make two grand, three grand, unless you're selling it whole. And I hate selling vehicles that run and drive. It's just an absolute fucking nightmare. But, you know. I like parting them out because it's easy. Parts are parts, and that's it. So, uh, let's go see what we get at the thrift store. Stopped by a secondhand thrift store. Uh, I'll put a picture of it. 
up in the corner here. And um, they actually have 50% off day tomorrow. Uh, they open at 10. So I'm probably going to go check it out because they had some Cisco conference phones. Uh, and then they had like secondary conference phones to go with the Cisco system. They're, they were 99 cents today. Um, looks like they're 99 cents all the time. Um, I've only been in there once. It's been a long time. Then my daughter was with me. She had to go potty, so we couldn't finish looking. So I figured I'd go back today just see if there's anything. Um, so I decided just to wait because don't, I don't think they have a lot of traffic. Um, so decided to wait, try to get those phones for 50 cents a piece because there's probably 10 or 12 of them. Which, of course, if I were to bought them, you know, if they're gone tomorrow, I'll kind of be bummed. But uh, I got to figure out a way to test them. I guess I can plug them in, just make sure the electronics work, I guess. Because uh, I don't have, like, a phone at home, you know, of course, like most Americans now. And then they had some sealed board games. Oh, they weren't really board games. They are like a jigsaw puzzle. And they were all new in the package. They were asking 10 bucks a piece. And it looks like they're selling on Amazon for 40 nine so i'd clear 41 dollars after fba fees um and then price of goods would be five so it'd be down to 35 and then probably a dollar to ship them all if i put them in a big box or two dollars or something so i'd be down to 33 and there's probably eight of them so i can get them for five bucks a piece tomorrow um i, I doubt they go through like some of the thrift stores and mark a bunch of stuff up um like they had certain color tags or 50% off today, but nothing that I was looking at really, or I just got it today, you know. So just wait till tomorrow. And then they had some stuff like in the uh, behind the counter that were kind of like uh, Star Wars stuff like that. So I'll probably look at that stuff a little bit harder tomorrow. Um, and they didn't really, I don't really think they had anything, anything else. They had a big box of cameras. There's probably a couple like 35 millimeter cameras I'll grab out of there. Some of them are just like the cheap plastic ones. Um, and I don't think those really bring much, but there were some heavier ones in there that might bring a little bit. Uh, I think I looked one up, it was like 20 bucks or something. They were asking like 3.99, but I just figured I'd wait till tomorrow, try to get everything for 50% off. And we'll see, see if anything's left after today. I mean, there's nobody, I was the only shopper in there. There's nobody else there, so. Uh, we'll see what happens. Um, they didn't really have any clothes. They have a bunch of clothes, but they didn't really have any clothes that were worth anything. Um, they had some, it's kind of weird. It's kind of like a, I don't know. It's definitely like a thrift store vibe, but they had some high, like higher end stuff too from what they listed. Like they had a dresser for $189, $189. It was like an older vintage type looking dresser. Oh, I get it, but they should kind of separate it a little bit better. I think, which I'll try to take camera in tomorrow because I wasn't really planning on going in there. I just hopped out, but because um, it definitely has a thrift store vibe, 100%. Um, but if I owned a place like that, I would definitely have a section for like higher and like a boutique type section and then have the thrift store section just so it's, I don't know, it was just kind of weird. You walk by a dresser is over $200 and then the rest of the store is like nothing it's just, it's just weird but that's how it is um pulling into the village discount outlets right now and there's definitely carts today so i'll probably take you guys in and see if we find anything we might not but i'm just looking to spend 14 dollars to get that five dollars off so that means i'll pay nine dollars but it has to be 14 dollars before tax i believe so i did this last time so uh, try to find something for, you know, try to get the tags to, to be $14 and then I'll pay, you know, right around 10, 11 bucks. So we'll see. Hopefully we find some bangers and we'll go from there and then we're going to go home and finish sorting the garage, sorting the garage last night, doing a bunch of stuff. So just trying to get the house ready. Um, and it's supposed to be raining here tomorrow and the next day. So I got some stuff outside. I need to get covered up. And um, got to sort all the stuff we got yesterday and then get some stuff listed on eBay. There's one item I can't find. It's not in the bin it was supposed to be in. So I'll probably do that later on this evening. Get everything. Uh, you're probably looking right at my chin. Um, and get the, the eBay room uh, where all my storage stuff is. Try to get it squared away.
and it's pretty it's pretty good i mean everything's in bins and stuff like that but there's a time i didn't really go down it's in my basement i didn't go downstairs and grab my bin when i was listing stuff so i just listed the stuff but i don't think it made it to the bin so just need to do a quick clean of the house and see if it's if i like laid it on a my table my laptop is or something i just didn't see it so we'll see what happens throw some music on and just get the organizing and cleaning go from there stay tuned we found this CD player for 99 cents and it works. I think the disc is scratch. And we found this Sony camcorder. Don't know if it works or not. Seven bucks. Got an old work shirt that I need. Got this Kanwaki Gold. This is a. Uh, West Virginia Snuggie. It's a call, call great Snuggies. I don't even know where the tag is. It's three bucks. But it says it on there somewhere. And I don't know this brand. Blacksmith. Like a Hawaiian shirt. It's pretty lit. And this is like a little display table. It's only nine cents. And we got this for the booth. It's like a picture frame. It's like three to four nine nine. Should go for like fifteen bucks. And then these Vibram Dunhams. They're in pretty good shape. They're ten bucks. They're going for like thirty ish. But here's what the store looks like. Pretty much like every other store. Let's see what we can find. No batteries. Don't know if it works. Two ninety nine. Old comps are like 20, so we're safe. So that uh, village discount outlet or valley thrift store. Um, spit more than I wanted, but there's they had a lot of stuff that wasn't out yesterday, just like I said. I knew I knew that it always happens. So, uh, but from taking the bunny to the vet this morning, they had three of these cages. Um, they, they had a smaller one than this, a bigger one, and then this one for five bucks each. I bought this one because it had the tabs. The other two were zip tied, and our bunny's getting a little bit bigger, so I just bought a bigger cage for five bucks. But and I'll show you, try to show you most of the stuff that we got. So we got this um, West Virginia Snuggie. <clears throat> then we got, I think I showed you this, this blacksmith shirt. Um, and I got a work shirt. And I didn't show you guys this. I don't know if it's vintage. I don't know what. But this Tommy Hill figure. The only problem I see is there's some staining back here. I might be able to get that out. But it's pretty cool. I paid $2.99 for that. Hopefully you guys can see me. Hopefully it's not too bright. Um, and then we got this Connie Gold, Connie Gold shirt. That's all the clothes we got. And I used that five dollar coupon, of course, so I saved five bucks. So basically, I got three, like three of these shirts for free. If you want to just say that. Got this laugh sign for my daughter's bedroom. Her uh, bedroom designed in that type of stuff. It's uh, dollar. These are those Vibrams. They were ten bucks. I bought this shelf. It was six bucks for the antique booth. I think it'll, I think it'll uh, work out good. Needs a little touch-up paint. Uh, got this little table thing. Open it. Just like a little riser for the antique booth. It was like nine cents. Got the Sony camcorder. Don't know if it works. Comes with everything. <clears throat> got this wood sign. It's definitely homemade. That was pretty cool for the antique booth. Sony camera. Hope it works. 
Got a soccer ball for my daughter. Got this old uh, elf with the new tags from Burger King. He was he was 69 cents. And he got sloth for my buddy, for my friend. Not my buddy, my friend, another sloth. Got a portable CD player for 99 cents. It works. Batteries are still in it. And this was pretty sweet. I like to find the, the other the other um, ends to it, but it's missing the emblems. They, some teams came out and there's just a little bit of cracking right here, nothing bad. Some of them said NBA, some of them said Lakers. Um, but that that was eleven dollars. So that's everything. Um, that um, basketball thing, the Lakers version, it's it's sold for seventy dollars plus shipping. So I don't know what I don't know what that will sell for. I probably put it up as is. I think there's a couple on there for like thirty. I'll probably throw it up for twenty plus shipping. Let's see what happens. Stay tuned. Alright guys, this is a beer and a flipper. Uh, we went to the bins earlier today, waiting on our friend to come over. We're going to go back, go to a couple of our thrift stores. Um, and then we went to a Goodwill in my hometown. Uh, we went got breakfast and just poked around. So, I'm going to show you the first haul of the day. I thought we did pretty good. So, here's what we got. So, the very first Goodwill we went to, I think we spent like 16 bucks or something like that. Got a Mr. Potato Head um, for a buck. Don't have any feet for my potato heads. Got like four of these. So I'm just trying to do a big bin to be able to put a couple together. And then we got this. I think it's like a vintage Broncos. Broncos multicolor. Lee shirt. It's pretty cool. This uh, Goodwill was uh, $4.99 for, for uh, any t-shirt. T-shirts, polos, anything. Uh, we got this Dayton Flyers polo. Nike Golf, extra large, pretty clean. Should sell locally or selling our booth. And we got these pair of Hoka's, pretty clean. Um, no heel rub, no nothing. They're $4.99, so that's a good price. And then I thought this was a, a camera lens. I got real excited. I was like, oh my god, it's just a regular camera lens. I looked at the bottom, I was like, what the heck? But it is a coffee cup. It was buck ninety nine. I figured to put it in the booth, see what happens. I hope you guys liked that video. Um, there's a lot of content, a lot of stuff, uh, multiple Goodwills, multiple thrift stores. Um, there's a couple things that I got that I haven't laid out yet to video. Um, I'll get that in next week's. But um, bought a bunch of phones at one of the places and a bunch of board games that I'm going to try to probably put on Amazon. It'll be the first thing I'm selling on Amazon. So um, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share, tell all your friends, come over, check out. Any suggestions? Anybody else does reselling? Got any suggestions on the videos? Anything I can change? I know the lighting in here kind of sucks. I'm going to try to change that a little bit. But I appreciate you guys. And um, see you on the next one.